Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up a Nintendo 64 emulator on your computer. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to go to pj64-emu.com. The link will be in the description of the video below. Once you're here, click download here. And then it should start downloading. Once it's downloaded, click on the setup file and it should pull up this. Click next. And here you can pick where you want to save the files to. I'm just gonna be putting it on my C drive, but if you wanna put this on USB or an external hard drive, feel free to do so. Make sure the leave create a desktop icon checked, then click next and let it install. Also go ahead and leave launch project 64 checked and hit finish and it should open up for us. Now that it's open, you can select whatever language you want. I'm gonna leave mine at English and here you can pick your game directory. So click these three dots here and then find whatever file you have all of your Nintendo 64 ROMs at. Mine are on my desktop in a file called N64 Games. I'll select that and hit OK. And now if you have any questions about where to get the ROMs at, just Google Nintendo 64 ROMs and a million different options will pop up for you to click on and download. Now once you have all your game files there and in your game directory, go to video plugin and I'm gonna use for modern PC and then click okay. So once you do that, it should pull up here with all your games. Before we start playing though, we got a few options we wanna change. So go to options and click graphic settings. Now here you wanna select full screen resolution, pick the uh, whatever matches your display. Mine is 1920 by 1080, so I'm gonna select that. Next, as far as window resolution, I recommend doing 1440 by 1080 p And then for aspect ratio, go ahead and leave it at 4.3. In my opinion, that's the best way to play it. That's how the Nintendo 64 games were made originally. But if you are someone who wants to play it in widescreen format, you can select 16.9 or stretch. Just know it's going to distort the image because it's going to try to stretch it to fit the whole screen. So I think it looks better in the 4.3, which is where I'm going to leave mine. Next, I want you to click Enable V-Sync. This is gonna make it look better and help with screen tear. And then come over here to your anostropic filtering and take that all the way to the max at 16 times. I think this is gonna give you the best looking emulator on your PC. Once you have all these settings selected, go down here and click Save and Close. Next, go back to Options. And we're gonna to go to input settings because now we gotta set up our controller so we can play these awesome games. Now, once you're on the screen, it should automatically recognize whatever controller you have connected to your computer, whether it be through Bluetooth or USB. I'm personally using a PlayStation 5 controller that I have plugged in via USB. So all I wanna do is to map this controller out, is click on this little box next to where the button is and then select that on the controller. So I click that box and then I hit up on my controller. I hit this box and I hit down, left, Right, analog stick, same thing. Click on it, move the analog stick up, move it down, left, right. For the C buttons, I'm gonna use my face buttons on my controller. So up is gonna be triangle, down will be X, left will be square, right will be circle. This where it gets a little tricky, I'm gonna use my R1 and L1 for my A and B, so I'm gonna make I'm gonna make B, L1, I'm gonna make A, R1. And then for enter, I'm gonna use my options button. And for Z, which I hope we don't have to use too much, I'm gonna use the share button on my PlayStation controller. Oh, I, forgot, I almost forgot the triggers up here. So I'm gonna use my R2 and my L2. So now once I have all that stuff set up, I hit apply and okay. And now we are ready to play some video games. So I'm gonna load up No Mercy. And if you want guys, you can click options and go full screen. And there you have it folks. You now have a fully functioning Nintendo 64 emulator on your computer. If this video helped you out at all, please consider subscribing and hit me with a like button. And as always, thanks for watching Chasing Games.